Yo, what is going on, guys? It's MJ, it's one aka Maj Marcus. Today we're back with another video, and um, all right. So I was gonna actually make a make this uh, a video. I was gonna make it myself, but I saw some so people were already seem to be talking about um talking about and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be like listening to what he has to say. I'm definitely curious on what he has to say about like the whole leakers been found. So yeah, but anyway, like Last of Us Two, the leakers apparently have been found. People were able to find the leakers who had been leaking the game and stuff like that, or who well, who leaked the game, the whole game and stuff like that. So, okay, see that's gonna be an issue, but <laughs> but um yeah, that's crazy though. I mean honestly, like I said, I'm you guys know. I mean I made a lot of videos about I, a lot of videos covering this and stuff like that. So I, I'm gonna continue to cover it. I definitely was I I wanted to make this yesterday, but you both was playing Persona Five. You feel me? <laughs> but um yeah. But yeah, man, it's crazy. I definitely do want to hear, like, you know, what, you know, who are these people that, who did this? Um, and it's not even from, like, Naughty Dog. Naughty Dog themselves. So I, it wasn't even from Naughty Dog that even leaked the game. So, I, I, how come, so how come people were saying it was Naughty Dog? So, I, I, anyway, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it all out here myself. So, without further ado, let's just get to watching, man. Let's see what we got going on. So there's not going to be any spoilers in this video, but Good most likely you have heard about The Last of Us Part 2 controversy. It is all over the internet. Yes, right sir. Now. It's everywhere. Like, like everyone is talking <laughs> about this game. So I have to say, if you're trying not to be spoiled, it's going to be very, very difficult. And most people who have seen the leaks are not happy as to what's in those leaks. And, you yeah, know, I took a look at them, looked at apparently, all of it. I, I, now, listen, I'm, this is, this is, I mean, I guess it's not necessarily a spoiler. But I guess in a way, I don't know. But either way, what I'm about to say, if you think this is, I'm just saying this now, this could be a spoiler. It could be not. Just just walk away from the video if you think if you think this is like if you think I'm spoiling you or stuff like that. Just walk away from the video. But I don't think it's a spoiler. A huge spoiler. But um, apparently, like Last of Us Two has like a whole lot of like uh, political. I, I spoke about this in like my last video. Um, has a whole lot of like political um, SJWs. Um, no, re no, regarding around the game, surrounding the game and stuff like that, you know, has a lot of SAW political stuff, um, stuff that wasn't in the first game, original game, which was not original game, in the first game, it was not stuff like that, it was like, like I said, Last of Us 1 was like, it's just, just your typical fun, zombie, but great storytelling video game, you feel me? Last of Us 2, on the other hand, is taking like a very, like, political, uh, social, hey, it's a oh, sorry. But, um, political type beat to the game. I'm like, yo, why, bruh? Everybody's trying to figure out why, so that's pretty much what's going on with that. So, yeah, that explains that whole issue. I knew it was going to be a big story in the industry, and uh, we'd probably have to talk about it somewhat. And after seeing those leaks, I will say, not a fan, not, not a big fan of what's in there at all. And I saw that, and I said, oof, man. Because I, I just, I, I played back through Last of Us, the remastered one on the PS4, I'm going to say like six or seven months ago, because right. of course, Last of Us Part 2 is coming up, and they moved the release date around, but I had fairly recently played through it, and uh, still hits pretty good, right? Still hits hard, it's, it's a great game still. Yes, uh, it is, Last of Us, yeah, seeing it's what's game. in those lakes, I just, oof, man. It's, so that, it, it, yo, so, it is tough, because... I'm uh, sorry, I'm sorry I'm pausing it. I don't, see, the thing is with me, when I'm like reacting to stuff, I don't like just watching the whole video and not saying anything i want to like i don't like doing that. i don't like just i don't do that i don't do that i pause it and i give my two cents and then we continue watching i don't like just sitting here and be like right i want to engage you know with my guys so um yeah so like it's crazy so it, it's crazy so a lot of people must not like the like the whole the, the, the new direction that last of us 2 is taking bro it must be that deep man it must be that deep, my boy. It must be that crazy because, like, like it. Dang, bro. Like, I don't know. A lot, of, a lot of people are saying, like, I'm, I'm. Well, regardless how the story is, I'm getting Last of Us Two from gameplay alone. Now, with me, no. If I'm getting a game, I want the complete package. I want story. I want good gameplay. Uh, I don't really. I'm not a graphics freak like that. I don't really care too much about graphics. I play freaking. Uh, I'm just I'm I'm about to get freaking the Yakuza series, so and which isn't really a great graphic game and stuff like that. Fallout is not really a great game when it comes to graphics. That's great gameplay and a great story. So I'm not a graphics freak. I could care less. The Witcher is another example. I don't really care too much about graphics. So I guess the two important thing is storytelling 
gameplay, um, characters, of course. <laughs> Can't forget the characters, characters, stuff like that. Um, and there's more stuff, but like that, I feel like that's the most three main parts that you need to have. There's more stuff, but that's for me. But yeah, like you gotta have those. You gotta have good gameplay, good storytelling, good great characters, stuff like that. I'm not just gonna get this game for gameplay alone. I'm sorry. You can have great gameplay, but a crappy story. I don't roll that way. I just don't. Uh, I looked at that and I said, "Do I? If I wasn't gonna do coverage, would I now still get this game? I don't know. I feel like I, I would want to because the gameplay still looks pretty good. Yeah, and it does. It does. I'm not knocking that off. Everything else they're trying to do around this that's, to me, kind of off putting compared to what they did with the first game. But uh, the big story here now is, of course, everyone's trying to figure out who leaked out what is a devastating amount of information for a game that is heavily focused on its plot. I mean, that's the big deal. That's why you're getting Last of Us Part 2 right. before you knew that's about right. these details was to see how everything played out, right? Exactly. Sure, the when gameplay is like, oh, it, it looks good there. Part one. You want to see what happens to these characters, and you want to see the story continue. Right. It's been a while. Like what? my boy Joel. What happened to Joel? I don't even know what happened. Like, what happened, bro? What happened? 2013. It was like seven. It was seven years ago. Yeah. So that's that's a yeah, long yeah, time to come, kind of be hanging out. Like, ago, huh? uh, I wonder what's going to happen next, right? So everyone's starting Plus to try DLC to piece together happened. what happened here with the leaks, and we got some new information today about it from Sony. And uh, what's interesting about this is because of how big of a deal this situation is, there is a lot of rumors going around right now, people trying to piece together what happened. So we come up with some pretty crazy things. The, the big front runner right now is that there was a rogue Naughty Dog employee who decided that it would be a good idea to put this out there right, because that's they what were we not heard. happy. And I think a lot of that that's had to heard. do that's, with the yeah. previous write-up uh, on Kotaku from Jason Schreier about the amount of crunch at Naughty Dog. Now, crunch, of course, in the game industry has been a big, big issue because you get burnout, you get developers who are very talented who end up only working on a couple of games before they're out of the industry because it's just it's just too difficult and too right. strange. I mean, yeah, too much of a strain making video games, on them. listen, making video games is definitely not easy, bro. Making video games is probably one of the hardest jobs to have Fun, you can have fun, of course, but it's not easy. Making developing developing a video game from the from the ground up is definitely freaking hard. It's not easy at all. You know, same with making like you know movies stuff like that. Um, as a guy, you know who 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 you know who made who recently you know put out like you know, like a live action film and stuff like that. Who made who try to make his make a little short film. That crap is hard. Making like you know anything that comes from like the entertainment side of things. It's freaking hard. Video games, movies, stuff like that. And like I said, I made like a short, like a few months ago, maybe like a couple, few months ago, I made like a short, short film of my own. And like making that crap from the ground up, making anything from the entertainment side, from the ground up is freaking ridiculously hard. Especially if you don't have a lot of people, you know, you know helping you edit and stuff like that. Like you, if you're like solo, that crap is hard, man. There's nothing, making video games, making movies, anything from the entertainment side is freaking not easy, dog. It's, it's hard, for real. So when you hear that Naughty Dog is getting to the point where they are using uh, all kinds of different people that normally wouldn't work on things like uh, what animations, other like all kind of coming together to try to get this done because they are literally running out of developers, that is that is kind of a, a problem. We even had people who were ex Naughty Dog employees talk about what they saw there, which were people uh, in different departments outside of their department who were working, you know, over a hundred plus hours per week. That's pretty crazy yeah, right, to get this real. game done. And I always look at management as an issue for crunch. So that's why it's not very hard to believe that you could have an employee who just was not happy uh, with how the game turned out or uh, the build up to it or the work environments that they would get really frustrated and just start leaking out the game like that's why it's like belie so believable to a lot of people now there was also something thrown in there about payments and who, who yeah really we knows did we about talked about that, that. Too. and then there was a, a reddit post that blew up Payment the other day that paid. talked about how they wanted to leak it out there so they could get the game to get a release date sooner so that people would get bonuses and right exactly to be honest, that post read like uh someone who was really annoyed at the leaks and wrote up some fan fiction and a little backstory for all of that but game game industry games industry.biz had uh 
at least a response from Sony. We can see that here. It says, uh, Sony has confirmed to game industry, gamesindustry.biz that it has identified the primary individuals responsible for the leaks earlier this week, saying they were not affiliated with Sony Interactive Entertainment or Naughty Dog, as was rumored. The publisher declined to comment further, saying that the information was currently subject to an ongoing investigation. So, the amount Ooh. of information in these leaks, specifically when they're going through, because if, you, if you've seen the leaks, you know what I'm talking about. There right. are uh, there, there are quite a bit of information on the side, the builds, all this stuff, right, that mm. I'm sure Sony, Naughty Dog, they can kind of piece together exactly when this build is from, and they can probably figure out who had access to it. Ah, so they're uh, trying to figure out like, who was that like, you would behind be, This should be as guarded as situation. Last of Us okay. Part Two because of its story. They most likely had very limited access. And mm. they use some pretty... Uh, a pretty strict language here that they are not affiliated with Sony or Naughty Dog. And based on what was talked about with Crunch and other things, it does sound like they probably leveraged quite a few contractors to get this done. Most likely that is who leaked this out. A contractor. That's now, crazy, man. why would they have leaked that out? That is, that's the number one question. Yeah, I think for, that's what everyone wants to know is why, what caused this person to start leaking out a ton of details around this game. Was it that they were not happy with the plot? Like a lot of people, myself included, are you serious are right now? Like it's not the, the plot itself. I can see why it's frustrating right now, right? And maybe, but the payment thing comes up again. It, the problem right, is we're still left with that. questions, and it's actually become more interesting and even weirder that it's not as straightforward as an employee just leaked it. No, it was someone else. I also see people wonder if it was a hacker or someone who just managed to get access to it and stole it. I mean, it's possible. I was going to say that. That, that could happen. That's a really possibility. Hearing exactly that could happen, who too. It was. And I, I will say this. Someone's probably going to court over this. Someone's probably getting sued. Oh, so yeah, for sure. One for way or the sure. other, we will eventually find Yo, out. This is not going to be just thing you just put the rug, like, bro. This there, is going to be a probably court a big documents deal, and all bro, of this bro. stuff as someone just gets sued to oblivion because they broke an NDA or worse, they stole it. Like, that's that's obviously worse. If you go on their servers and access it and steal it or you just have stolen it from Naughty Dog, yeah, that, that would be a problem as yeah, well. That's, that's so problem either way, we're going to figure man. it out. Sony will eventually it's probably crazy, man. tell us indirectly or they'll tell a press outlet like Games Industry or Jason Schreier may be able to uncover more information as he has said that he is currently looking into it. But it is strange. We'll say that. Very, very weird around this situation. Let me know what you guys think about this down below. I will say there'll probably be spoilers in the comments because you can't go anywhere without there being spoilers. Of course. Not, man, nobody was, nobody cares about the people's their spoilers the feelings. So, nobody cares, uh, bro. Yeah, you know, they mind, wanna, honestly, you if you're get, trying to stay spoiler-free until spoilers. the release date for Last of Us Part 2, all I can say is good luck. Thanks, guys, for watching. Make sure you like the video on the way out if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if not. And I'll see you next time. Alright. Hey man, oh my gosh, please don't leave. I saw that coming. I saw that coming. I'm gonna wait, I'm wait for this to skip. If you are currently facing financial burdens, Alright. So Sony keeps telling us that the PlayStation 5. Alright, so. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like, I listen. I am still deciding if I see The Last of Us 2. Um, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want to get the game. You know, if it, if the plot if the plot is that bad, it even got to the point where the gaming creators or like anybody who's from like the uh, Naughty Dog, you know, company or whatever, leaked the game because the plot was that bad. That's a lot of that's a lot of signs, bro. That's a lot of signs that yo I yo that don't get this game. You know, I feel like you know I feel like I, it, unfortunately this might have to be the game I have to skip. And, and it, it sucks because I've been waiting for Last of Us 2 for so freaking long, bro. I've been waiting for this game since I was a young boy, pretty much. I've been waiting for this game for a long time. And it sucks that it had to come down to this, bro. It really, did. it really, really, really sucks it had to come down to this, my guy. But, um, yeah, I'm, listen, I might have to skip this game. I'm, I'll wait for Ghost of Tsushima instead and get Final Fan play Final Fantasy Persona 5. I got games to play, but... And Yakuza and stuff like that, bro. It sucks because I don't want to skip. I mean, I still, listen, I still might end up getting this game. I still might end up getting this game. I still might end up getting it. I'm going to keep it a bean with you. I still might end up getting this game. Regardless, regardless of this, the negative uh, energy that's surrounding around this game, I still might get this game. Regardless. 
regardless, like I said, even with the whole, you know, uh, controversy with this game, I'm still getting it. I still might end up getting it. I won't be surprised if I get this game. I won't. I won't. We waited for too long for this, bruh. I, I won't be surprised if I get it. But, like I said, it, it, it's a 50-50. It's a 50-50 for me. So, I don't know, guys. You guys let me know in the comments down below. Are you guys going to get this game still regarding of this whole controversy type beat? Um, are you guys going to get this game still? Let me know in the comments down below. If not, you know, I don't blame you. <laughs> if you're thinking about it, let me know as well. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Uh, I might react to the Assassin's Creed trailer um, game later today. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see what happens. See how I feel. Uh, I really want to play Persona 5 Royal. I, I mean, I just don't want to. I, I do want to play Persona 5. I might, make, I might actually end up making a review for Persona 5 Royal. But I don't know. But we'll see. But anyway, guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay, stay, stay fresh. Play Miles Marcus, a.k.a. MGH1. I'll see you guys in my next video. And, uh, yeah. Bye, Zeke.